everyone. Hope you guys are having a great day today. And in this video, we're gonna be doing a uh, review on a 2017 Ford Focus ST with the ST1 package on it. Some of you are like, ST1 package? Isn't that the lowest package you can get? Yes, it is. So today we're gonna to be talking about all the little features and the performance you get out of this Ford Focus. All right, so we're talking about wheels and tires now. And the stock tires were just the basic 18 inch uh, snowflake wheels. But uh, the owner of this car decided to go with um, 1552 Integrales finished in white. The specs are 18, and a, 18 by eight and a half, wrapped in 245 40s by Continental. Uh, these tires are supposed to be phenomenal, little everyday tires that you could, well, drive every day in. So, uh, really like the uh, white finish on these wheels. Uh, really flows well with the blue. Uh, the owner says he's probably gonna switch up the uh, lug nuts a little bit later, but for now, black does just fine. So this little front wheel drive stallion pushes around 252 horsepower and 270 foot-pounds of torque. It's enough to get you the boogie, um, especially in a little light hatchback like this. Um, just with some simple bolt-ons, you're going to feel like you're going with the speed of sound. So it all puts it down with those Continental tires like we discussed before. So uh, the owner is uh, planning on doing a bunch of nice fun little mods that uh, we're going to get into within the next week or so. Feel it suck in the air. Um, we're gonna do a little uh, build breakdown once we get all those parts put on, and then uh, we'll come back and kind of redo redo the review a little bit and show how uh, show the process of putting on all those parts. So I'll definitely stick around to that video coming up soon. So uh, yeah, well, now we are going to move on to more of the uh, interior kind of amenities of the car, and then. Uh, we should be you taking it out on a little drive. Hey guys, uh, it's Jason here, owner of the 2017 Focus ST here that we're reviewing. Um, so yeah, like Gunnar mentioned, ST1 package, so it is unfortunately the poverty spec. Um, so no upgraded infotainment system, no touchscreen, cloth for Caro seats instead of the leather ones, and no carbon fiber shift knob, which I'm kind of sad about. That's coming soon though. Um, with the interior, basic rpm miles per hour and then up here above the infotainment system cute little neat gauges you have up here that help you out a bit got a uh, oil temperature gauge boost and oil pressure as well uh, so for these cars stock they are running at about 17 psi of boost from the factory give or take a couple pounds i believe it's around 17 um but yeah that is about it manual e-brake six-speed transmission um, which is what they all come with and yeah it's a pretty fun car a lot of space in here a lot more space than what I expected for a hatchback like this a lot faster than my 92 Civic as well so pretty big upgrade I need to get a new shift knob like I said I'm probably gonna do the the carbon fiber ST one I can feel the tires. You can feel them sticking. Yeah. That was a good. That was a good. Uh, that was a good move. Continentals did. I was, I'm so glad, dude. I've been sliding corners here Quack. with the West Lakes. Ha <laughs> ha. No name. No name brand, dude. That is really smooth. I mean, that, there's there's. Uh, torque steer in it for sure. Like I felt it kind of grab towards the left a little bit when I yeah. went over, but that's probably the smoothest shifting I've ever done. <laughs> that shit's tight. So the ST stands for baby, super tight. Super tight, dude. <laughs> Super 
brakes. They buy hard. I don't even think, I mean, I, I didn't look down at all yet. Because I'm, I'm focused. Hat focused. Trying to focus. But I haven't looked down to uh, the tack at all. And uh, I don't think I'm using the entire. Uh, the entire power band? Yeah. I mean, third, third gear pulls pretty long. Yeah, I know. Third, third gear is super long, kind of like the uh, WRX, but. I think you get like 65, 70 in third gear. Screen or uh, infotainment stuff to make it a fun car. That's that's probably like the best thing about it is the the clutch feels great because it like you said it got light but then it just catches so it's super it's like it's aggressive but it feels like it's not supposed to be aggressive. Yeah, that's what I like about it. Like I said, it's like a really good beginner car for if you're learning oh, how yeah. to drive manual. Oh yeah, and if you ever know how to drive it, then it just turns even funner. Oh yeah, it's like, it's way more fun, like. Oh yeah. Dude, I can't wait to put them goodies on next week, bro. Yeah, What? so what are we expecting for next week so far as mods? So, I know next I... week as far as mods, we should be seeing a couple bolt-ons, um, new cold air intake, um, specifically a Roush cold air intake, or a Roush, how do you say it? Roush. 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 <laughs> and then, um, new cat back exhaust uh, don't want to spoil the name because then you guys might search it up and know how it sounds like <laughs> and then a turbo smart blow off valve for those cool turbo noises okay. and a symposer delete which I have that already but I'm going to wait to put on with everything else mm -hmm. and for people who don't know what a symposer is it's this thing that Ford put in these cars to make artificial sound come into the cabin mm. so your car sounds fast <laughs> so you delete that and you make your cabin a lot quieter which is what I want to do because my exhaust is going to make all the noises now oh. and yeah that's about it um, probably in a couple months a new front mount intercooler and then probably before that a rear motor mount uh, an upgraded one because these are notorious for wheel hop with the stock one Okay. so, so now we're going to hop on the highway here do a uh, try and get a real pull and golden ticket time. Baby! 
Yeah, give us the wave, dude. <laughs> Exterior styling, I would probably, I would give it a, um, for this, for this year, because I know there's, um, different, it kind yeah, of. I think it's 2013 to 2018 is when they made them. Styling on the outside is pretty the same throughout the Well, years. you think, you think the outside, is, they didn't really get much updates? No, because I, I test drove the 2013, and then the, the interior from that to this one, about identical, and the exterior too. Like okay. maybe like slight changes on the body lines, but nothing too noticeable where you All think right. like, oh, it's a brand new car. Yeah. Okay, so for that, I would probably give it like a uh, an eight out of 10 because, so it's a really good looking car, like and especially once you start to modify them a little bit to get into a really good looking car. But how, how it sits right now uh, with no mods done whatsoever, um, minus wheels, of course, but, um, it probably could use a little bit of updating. Uh, it's to me, it looks a little dated. Like if you compare it to a uh, 2018 GTI, GTI, or a, or if you can even compare it to a 2017, the same year, the GTI kind of looks a little bit more um, more modern, especially once you uh, get higher up in the in the lighting packages and stuff like that. Yeah lights change and you know body lines a little bit different uh this is kind of relatively the same throughout the years so for that i would give it 8 out of 10 it's still like so super, super solid like you you know that it's a uh, focus st instead of a normal focus so and they promote that with all the uh all the exterior badges which i think look pretty sick um and then if you go to uh, interior styling uh, I like how this one has pushed the start. Uh, I'm actually kind of more of a fan of the cloth seats. I'm a cloth seat guy. So, okay. uh, that, cause you know, days like today, you're not sticking to a leather seat, you know? True. So, true. Um, I see, I have mixed feelings about the cloth seats. Like I like them cause yeah, hot days, you know, not sticking to them. They're not burning your legs off and burning your butt cheeks off. <laughs> but I like, that they don't get dirty as easily yeah which is my thing so like i have a dog i mean he doesn't shed but you know there's still hair a little bit of hair here and there with leather seat just a quick wipe down you're good cloth seat everything just sticks to them they stain easily smells get stuck to them so that's my only issue with cloth seats but these are nice these are ricardo cloth seats i mean they hug you pretty yeah well. no when we were going through those corners i felt secure i didn't feel like i was getting sloshed all over the car so Especially big 6'4", uh, a little bit on the heavier side, I'm like uh, just over 200 pounds. So, I mean, just feeling tight and secure in a small car, I think it, it does the job. And it puts the power down too. That's another thing. Because it's light, uh, uh, the power the power is there, you know, 252 horsepower and what, like 2,500 pound car? Google. Google. <laughs> so I was going with that. Um, I I'd give I'll give the uh, interior styling on this car specifically the same as the exterior, which would be an eight out of ten. Mostly because you could have gotten you know uh, touchscreen infotainment system. You could have gotten the uh, the leather seats. You know, pe people prefer that stuff more than that. But she's a heavy. 3,200 pounds. Wow, really? So, 250 in 3,200 pounds. 3, pounds. Huh, but that's, I guess it's the front wheel drive that makes it feel, feel a little a bit lot, quicker than yeah. it is, or a little bit more agile, mm -hmm. which isn't too bad. That's just about the same as the WRX. What was the WRX push? 260? 260. 260 and it weighs about the same. same. So I mean like this car would definitely catch up to WRX, I feel like. But like a WRX would get it off the line because it has an all-wheel drive. True. These have for what they are, especially when you start adding mods, they get torqued. They get torqued pretty easily. Oh yeah. It's so hard to put the power down at that point. Uh overall thoughts. Um 
this is a nice when we talked about this on the on the driving this is a nice little uh daily hatchback that gets you know i think it's good power uh plenty of room has a fun stick i think it's a perfect perfect beginner daily yeah no easily easily perfect beginner daily i mean i'm still kind of like a beginner driver i mean Driving the Civic, I mean, I still had issues. I mean, that's where I learned how to drive stick. And even with this one, I'm still kind of learning, but I got to kind of have it down. Yeah. And it's super easy going from the from the Civic to this. Like, the clutch is super easy to work. The shifts are super smooth. You know, I mean, if you're looking to get into a good car as a first-time manual driver, this one's it. This one's super easy. I mean, also, if you have the money to drop, like, 16, 17,000 on it, pre-owned car obviously i mean there's other cars that'll probably be better for cheaper if you're looking for that but if you're looking to get into something newer ish first time this is probably one of the best ones oh yeah yep see that see that so yeah uh that's kind of our thoughts on the uh focus st Camera looks good. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> She's alive. Hello, Governor. <laughs> How are you doing today? Chip <laughs> 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 Yeah, you're just like sipping on your tea and crumpets too. 